What's up YouTube, this is Hector from Nazi Nerdy and welcome back to another unboxing. Today we're going to unbox the iView Horizon 1080p camera glasses. Now, I know that's a mouthful, that's what she said, but uh, we're actually going to see if this thing is really good. Now, in case you guys are wondering why I, I got these glasses and what they are, First of all, these are sunglasses that have a little camera right in the middle of it. So it does record in 1080p at 30 frames per second and 720p at 60 frames per second. Now you may be watching this on my Not Too Nerdy ENT channel or you may be watching this on my Not Too Nerdy Retro channel. Um, now if you're from my Not Too Nerdy Retro channel, you already know I have a series that's called Garage Sale slash Yard Sale Video Game Pickups. So what I do, I basically go to different garage sale, yard sales, and I in search of like different video games, stuff like that, and show you guys what I get. Now, a lot of people on that channel were actually asking me to, uh, you know, get do something live. They want to actually see me negotiate with people and see all the stuff that I find live. And I thought that was a great idea, but I didn't really feel like carrying my Note 4 camera all around and like filming like that, it's kind of hard to do. So I, I figure why not get glasses that have a camera with it. So right now, if you're into something like that, like series like that, definitely go check out my Not Too Nerdy Retro channel. It's gonna be pretty cool. And hopefully you guys enjoy that. Now for people in Not Too Nerdy NT, you know I always show you guys technology, different electronics, stuff like that. Well, here's a new one right here. And it's not that new, it's a year old, but for me, it's pretty new. So let me explain to you what you guys get out of this. So, just to let you know, the key specs of this is HD 1080p, uh, 5 megapixels at 30 frames per second. Now that's great and stuff like that, but also you have the option to switch to 720p, 5 megapixels at 60, uh, 60 frames per second. So right away, that's pretty cool because um, as we know, if you walk pretty fast or something like that, like the camera might not be able to pick it up. So if you maybe switch to 720p with the 60 frames per second, you might not get too much blur in the video, which may be a good thing, especially when you're wearing something in this first person view, you're probably gonna get a lot of blur. So more than likely, I'm gonna use the 720p more than I am the 1080p and just upscale it when I'm editing because I wanna make sure the frames per second are pretty good. So that's a big thing. It also includes 135 degree wide angle lens. So it's pretty cool. You know, the, the lens are pretty wide angle. Let's see if you guys can actually see that right there. So this is what it looks like. The shades, I think the shades are pretty cool, even though it's kind of probably gonna look weird with a little camera right in the middle, but you know what? Uh, it's something I'm gonna use. It's not like I'm gonna keep it a secret. I'm gonna pretty much tell them I'm gonna film before I film or ask permission or just, you know, film things like just the games or film the items and not the people. So uh, this is not one of those uh, perverted cameras. So if you guys are into that stuff, I highly doubt you're gonna get away with it because you can actually tell there's a camera here. So you're really not gonna get away with that. Um, it has expandable uh, memory, which is pretty cool, rechargeable battery, polarized lenses, which is what you guys saw, uh, weather resistant, time lapse video, and one touch control. So I think that's a big thing with the one touch control. You just touch the side of it and uh, you actually record and then you stop. Very simple, anyone could do it. So I think that's pretty cool. Now what's included in the box? That's a pretty big thing. And uh, this separates itself from the 720p version and the 1080p version. Now, 1080p version, uh, like I said, is also 30 frames per second, but the 720p version, if you were to buy that one, is, seven, is 30 frames per second too. So you, it's a big downgrade because you want to at least get to 60 frames per second if you're going to be 720p range. Okay, so what's included in this box is the iView 1080p Horizon camera, obviously. Um, it's 8 gigabytes micro SD card. So you actually get micro SD card with this, which is pretty cool um, It does have expandable memory. I believe it's up to 32 gigabytes If so, I already have a 32 gigabyte so I could just put that in there and not worry about it So I think that's pretty cool uh, dark tint and clear lenses. So that's cool I didn't know they actually came with clear lenses so that I'm gonna have to check. I literally thought it only came with a dark tint. So if it can't, if it comes with clear lenses, that's actually pretty cool. Um, USB charging and a data cable, which is very important to keep this baby charged. I'm sure the battery life, we're gonna test that out and see how long it lasts. Hopefully it lasts at least an hour. Um, if it doesn't, it's gonna suck. I'm gonna have to keep charging and stuff like that. But you know, who knows? Uh, wall charger, 
awesome. Uh, hard protective case, which is pretty cool. Uh, soft protective pouch, so that's cool. They give you a hard case and a soft pouch. Uh, microfiber cleaning cloth. Uh, product manual and one year limited warranty. So warranty is pretty cool in case anything happens to it. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, open this baby up. Here we go. We open it up right here. Now the manual is inside here. More than likely I will have to read this to know how to use some of the features. So that's pretty cool. That's in there. Put that aside now. So here's the glasses. Here's what it actually looks like. So let's go ahead and uh, you know show you the glasses right away. Let's not hold off any longer as soon as I get this open. Alright, so obviously you go like this. Yeah. Open it up like that. And there you go. So these are what the glasses actually look like. Which are pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty decent. Obviously like I said if you can see the front part of it you can tell it's uh definitely camera there so I actually like the tint I always rock shades all the time anyway especially since it's summertime right now it's pretty cool now the thing I immediately noticed it has slight weight to it but not that much it's a lot lighter than what I thought it would be so that's really cool now let's uh, see how it fits nice so it's not that bad I actually kind of like it you know it's not a weird looking camera up front it doesn't look weird as glasses actually fits pretty good on me and yeah it's something that I probably would wear anyway with the, the shades it's not that bad at all so that is pretty cool now as you can see in the, the, the side there is the button right here so that's cool to click it on and there's another button on this side now I'm pretty sure one turns on I heard a beep already and this one is a fake button I guess so I'm gonna have to read that or whatever but anyway there's uh, different things here we have the the charger right here where you can plug it in to charge we all the, also have the micro SD which is right there so I don't know if you guys can to see that probably can't it's probably focus uh, hold on Let's see like that Well, if I turn my autofocus, it'll work, but I don't want to turn on the autofocus on. Anyway, so it's there. So that's cool. All that stuff's on the right side, and to actually click it and stuff, I heard a beep already, and to turn it off. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, so I'm going to put that aside right now, and we're going to go see what else is in the box. All right, guys, so this is what was in the box, the lower part of the box. It's the hard case, which is pretty cool. It really is a hard case, so it definitely feels like it will protect it very well. So I'm really excited about that. It doesn't feel cheap at all, so it's pretty good. Um, inside there, we have a whole bunch of different things. So we have the cord charging cable right here, which is cool. The wall charger right here, which is good. Uh, once again, it uh, looks just looks like a regular USB charger, so not a micro USB, just a regular USB one. So um, it's cool to have that. I mean, wall chargers, we find these all the time, so I have so many of those. Uh, here's the microfiber cloth, which is good. Uh, this is what I did not know that they had. These are the clear lenses, so that's pretty cool. I don't think I'll use them now, but it's pretty cool that they included clear lenses with it. So I think that's really awesome because I didn't know that they're including that at all. And here's the soft pouch to uh, carry the soft carrying case, or whatever. So that's cool. And also included is a micro uh, SD card and a micro SD HC card. So we got the, the adapter right here. So you can actually put this in somewhere else and you could get the information from it. Or you just have the micro SD card that goes inside, which is cool. But I already have one that's 32 gigabytes. So hopefully I was correct that it does accept 32 gigabytes and if so then I'm not really gonna need this 8 gigabyte one but it's always cool to have extra data you never know um, and that's pretty much it so obviously I'm gonna give you guys a review of this a full review and I'm gonna give you the full review on my not too nerdy ENT channel so if you're watching that on not too nerdy ENT definitely stay tuned for my review if you are watching this on Not Too Nerdy Retro and you want to see this review later on, definitely go over to my Not Too Nerdy ENT channel, subscribe, or just well, uh, you know, go check out the review when it comes out. Now, as for the people for Not Too Nerdy Retro, you guys are gonna actually get to see the actual test footage. So anytime I do the garage slash yard sale video game pickups, you're gonna actually see all the video. 
So if you're from the Not Too Nerdy ENT channel and you want to see all the test footage and actual footage of how this glasses records, then you might want to go over check out Not Too Nerdy Retro. Go over there, subscribe, and uh, if you don't want to subscribe, that's cool. Just go check out the video, see what the test footage is like, and uh, stay tuned for my review. So I'm kind of excited to see what this baby is going to do. Uh, I'm probably going to get some looks, you know, until I get used to using it. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to do it. I'm going to be kind of scared to use it right away without, you know, letting people know it's a camera. So I'm probably going to have to tell them it's a camera just in case. I don't want to get, like, weird looks when someone, like, walks up close to me and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. So hopefully the footage is pretty good and this works out. Now, this isn't the cheapest glasses, just to let you guys know. I paid, like, around $150 for it. Um, but I got a discount from Amazon with this whole issue that they send the wrong one at first. So it actually came out to be, like, $110. But uh, it's not the cheapest glasses in the world. So we're going to see right now if it's worth it. So before I go over like everything, where to get it and all this stuff, like let's just stay tuned for the review. You guys actually get a chance to see the footage and you guys judge for yourself if this is something that you want or whatever. And that's pretty much it. This is Hex from Not Too Nerdy. So whether you're watching Not Too Nerdy ENT or Not Too Nerdy Retro, definitely check out both my channels. See you, YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like button, it really helps me out. Also, if you're new to this channel, subscribe so you can see new videos from me every week. And remember, it's okay to be not too nerdy.